What's good with the YouTube of Comments Perspective? It's your boy Flacco coming live and direct. Really up early in the morning with a little bit of energy. And what I'm going to do on this video, man, I have some exclusive breaking news. Um, as you guys know, a few months ago, about right around Memorial Day weekend, James Tiz Morado was uh, hit in the cell by Cuete. So yesterday on August 17th, 2021, um, James Tibbs Morado passed away in uh, Springfield Federal Prison, which was a medical facility, which I think about a couple weeks ago he was just transferred out to. So I know a lot of you guys are going to have questions. I mean, where does this take the organization? I mean, why was he even hit? And so I'm going to do a little bit of back history. In July of 2020, um, James Tismarado, he had filed a compassionate release uh, request. So he was already having issues with his health. And so, you know, this just goes to show you, man. I mean, I don't know if this hit, this attack that happened on him in the cell with Cuete, if this triggered him being killed. But I do know about a year before he actually filed in the federal courts asking for a release. And there were some things that were put in there that were potentially uh, questionable. Um, so all we do know is that on August 17, 2021, um, you lost a man that had a lot of influence within the, the organization for years, man. A member that had been, I'd say he's been an NF member approximately for around at least um, over 40 years, since the 70s. Um, one who was very influential in, in, in support of Black Bob. Um, held uh, was set on the OGBC for years. Um, you know, took his name based upon his intelligence, man. A very highly dedicated uh, uh, Guerrero. He was a warrior, you know what I'm saying? He just not only had the heart, but he had the intelligence, man. And it's just it's just sad that um, this man who gave his life for the organization, man, um, you know, to, to end it the way that they treated him at the end, three months before his death, let me see, May, June, July, August. Yeah, he, he passed away less than three months after they allegedly hit him, man. So, you know, hopefully he's in a better place. You know, hopefully he made his peace with God. Um, this information is just an exclusive update of, of what's going on, man. And many of you are going to wonder and, and question, like, if they knew he was this sick, you know, you know, at his age and everything, then why even hit him? And that's the thing I want to question is why hit him? You know what I'm saying why not let this man just live out the last few months of his life? You know what I mean, he already knew he was sick. And in some senses, you can draw different conclusions. Maybe it was such a severe type of violation that they felt or, or threat or risk that they had to deal with. Maybe it was just to set an example to the rest of the organization that no one is above above the, the push that we're trying to push. I don't know. I don't have those answers, man. But if you guys want to know a little bit more about Tibbs, man, all you got to do is talk to numerous individuals, man. And he he was an iconic figure within the NF. You know what I mean? A, a strong supporter of, of the Black Bob change. Um, you know, drafted many different revisions within the uh, within not only the North Daniel Collective but within the NF organization. You know, you know, there's a you know, I know personally someone who was one of the ones that was uh, uh, his celly for years, man, which was old, old man Bo. You know what I'm saying? And the one thing he said about about Tibbs was is Tibbs is one of those ones where he paid attention. He listened and he always knew to take the proper course of action of what was being taught to him. And that's how he was able to elevate all those years into a leadership position. He was a natural born leader. You know, it's just hearing this information, you know, you don't. As much as I stand against these organizations, right, as far as, you know, I'm not a supporter of gang violence. I'm not a supporter of criminal organized crime or anything like that. I want change in our community. Um, you know, there are some people who, who've put in a lot of work throughout the years that, you know, pay homage for the sacrifices that were made at a time when it was necessary for those when we were entering the system. You know, and he's one of those individuals, man. You know, regardless what, what things have turned into now. As it's all been about mo money and power and, and greed and corruption. You know, there are still those people who back in the days who had a firm a firm handle and belief of the things that they were trying to push, man. And, you know, there's no innocent parties in that lifestyle. You know what I mean? Tiz wasn't, wasn't innocent to the things that they were engaged in. Um, 
but you know, in, in any event, it's like the same thing with Tarzan, you know, these guys were committed in, in, and believed in this thing for like over 40 something years, man. And you just hope that they find that peace and tranquility in whatever, ever, whatever afterlife that they find, man. So this is just an exclusive update, man. James Tibbs Morado um, passed away on August 17th, 2021 in Springfield, Missouri. With that said, it's your boy Flock 1. I'm out.